Hey, we're here with Jonathan Garcia, Senior Program Manager, Xbox. What's up, man? Hey, I'm great, thank you. How are you doing? I'm fine, we're on a couch, we're chilling. Yeah. Uh, thanks for being here today. So what do you do here at Xbox? So I'm a program manager, as you mentioned. I work for Xbox Live, and the main things I've been focusing on lately has been the club feature. Um, what we found out is it's hard to make friends online. And uh, club is, if you don't have a lot of friends, you're brand new to Xbox, it's a great way to meet like-minded gamers around the games you like, play the same style as you do. And you can just meet them, make friendship, play together, and just talk together. So say I like something like a game like Diablo 3, and I want to find a club. How do I go about doing that? It's very easy, so I'll show you. Oh, look, a conveniently placed controller. Right there. <laughs> Let's try it. All right, so first thing you got to do um, is go into the community area of the console. Okay. And you see there is a button right there called Clubs on Xbox. So you press this. Uh, what you'll see is you'll see recommendation based on the games you've played. Oh, great. So you can uh, pick uh, uh, the top clubs right there. And if you don't find uh, a club for the game you, you want, you can just go to find a club and then choose a game. And then from Diablo there, three, Diablo 3. Pull Diablo 3, yes. I can play that game forever. It's a really good game. There it is. This one? Oh, Reaper of Souls. There, right there. That's the version yep. you like? Mm -hmm. Okay. So you select this. And you'll see, you'll actually see, Ooh. we actually give you the most popular club for this title right there. You get a club with 10,000 members, there's 400 people who actually showed up yesterday. Oh, okay, cool. So you get a sense of like, what are the active ones, what's the size? Uh, so that's really cool. Have you done this before? Have you made your own club? Yes, I have. Um, in fact, I'm actually uh, a lot into retro gaming. So that's my club, retro gaming, right there. I'm running it, I'm the owner. Um, you know, I can, you can see on the, on the far right, likes to play, I put all my favorite retro games right there. One of the most popular features we've seen in, in clubs is the activity feed. So this is where people can talk to other members, make posts. Uh, in, this, in this case, this is my admin, Wild Dylan. He asked a question, hey, what's your favorite retro game? And if you look, there's like 18 likes, oh, 38 comments. Awesome. I have people all over the world in this club. So not everybody's online at the same time, but it's yeah. great to engage with them. And, um, and the best thing is you can pin that post right there. And then the best thing people love to do in, in this club is share screenshots and game clips. Oh, yeah. So it's retro gaming, you know, people, not a lot of people play those games compared to the more popular ones, but these guys really do. And they'll give a, you know, a lot of great content. They're proud of the screenshots they take, yeah. the achievements they unlock. So they found a like-minded community inside Xbox Live. They like the same thing they do. And so it's great to, to uh, engage with them. I love it. And then you can actually see clips. And I would, just, I would just stay in here all day just looking at old clips. Yeah. Okay, I love clubs. I want to make my own. How do I do it? It's very easy. Anybody on Xbox Live can make a club. What you got to do is go to community, click the button clubs on Xbox. And right there, you see a create a club button. Bam. If you go there, you get to choose what club type you can create. The first thing you can do is create a public club. Okay. Public club is great if you want to build a community. So let's say you and I, we, we want to build the best Minecraft club. Mm -hmm. We've also added private clubs. Private club is great for communities who want to be just more like members only. Mm. One of the main scenarios we thought about is for um, around diversity. We want like our LGBTQA gamers to feel good about clubs and create their own wall garden. And cool. so you're still findable because you still want to be searchable yep. and findable. And then finally, we have Hidden Clubs. Hidden Clubs is designed for you and I, college buddies. Which we are, which is We weird. are college buddies, yeah. exactly. And we've played, you know, we've, we used to call ourselves Team 5 back in the days. That's right, I remember that. Yes, and so we want to be Team 5. With a Hidden Club, it doesn't matter. You can call your club whatever you want, even if there's somebody else who's already taken Team 5. Oh, that's good. So, first thing I'm going to do, um, I can, I get a suggestion here. I can, let's call it Team 5. Let's have five people in our and team. And you know what? This is it. That's oh, it. Oh, look at that. That's just a couple Created. button presses. It, it was that, that, that easy. Now, the best part, as I mentioned earlier, uh, we're rolling out a new feature where you can actually upload a custom uh, club logo, oh, cool. custom background. You can add a description. You can add the games you like to play. Yeah. So it, it's our own space. And then I after that, it. 
We can invite our friends, and then we can just get together. We're just going to make that Minecraft castle. Exactly. There. College friends, Team yes. 5. Back on the Xbox together. Back on the Xbox together. Jonathan, thanks so much for showing us today. Thank you very it's been much. really cool. And I'm going to go create a club after this. Well, why don't you use ours? I will, Team 5. Back in the studio with Malik and future Carlos.